Hello and welcome to our Lenten study for this fifth week in Lent. We're so glad that you could join us today. Today we'll be in the Gospel of John, chapter 12, the first eight verses. This is a very unique story. It's a, it's a story about love. Jesus met um, Martha, her sister Mary, and their brother Lazarus. And he became very close friends with them. Several times he actually went to their home and, and ate there. The first time, if you can remember, Martha got a little upset because she felt like she was doing all the work. And it bothered her so much she eventually came up to Jesus because her sister Mary was seated at his, was seated at his feet. And she said, Master, doesn't it bother you that she's not helping me and I'm doing everything? And Jesus looked into her eyes and said, Martha, Martha, you concern yourself with so many things. Your sister has taken the right spot. Jesus was telling Martha in the kindest way he could that it was better to listen to his words. And Mary got, got that message. Today's reading comes shortly after the resurrection of Lazarus. As you recall, Lazarus had died while Jesus was away. And when he came to the family, Lazarus had been dead for four days, and everyone, you know, kept saying, you know, if you had been here, you, you could have saved him. And they were crying, and it was a very emotional situation. This was Jesus' closest friends. It's actually said that it's, this is the one that Jesus loved when they came and told him that he was ill. The one you love is, is ill. But Jesus stayed actually a little longer than he needed to because he wanted to show God's power. As you know, he raised Lazarus from the dead. It was the only time we saw where the shortest verses in the Bible, Jesus wept, were spoken. The compassion Jesus had for all three of them, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, was amazing. But today, Jesus is being honored in the house of Simon, and Martha is serving. And again, Mary is in her place. She's at the feet of Jesus. And Jesus' close friend, Lazarus, is seated next to him. What happened next was just an amazing thing, where Mary took a a vase of perfume and poured it on Jesus' feet and began rubbing it in with her hair. This act of love, Jesus himself said, would be remembered forever. It's recorded in other Gospels. But the message is so important because it seems that only Mary knew what was going to happen. Jesus had been trying to tell the disciples what would soon happen when he went to Jerusalem? How he was going to have to die? And it seems that only Mary of Bethany got that message. And she took it upon herself to give him her best gift. A little bit about the perfume. The perfume she had, it's called uh, pure nard. It, it, it's, it's drawn from the mountains of Himalaya in India. And we don't know how she got it, okay? But it's very, very expensive. It, no doubt it was the most expensive thing Mary and Bethany owned. And she didn't hesitate to use it to honor and worship uh, the Lord Jesus. This past Sunday, when Pastor Guy was reading the gospel message and said the story, and she said the lines, Mary seated at the feet of Jesus. I was in, in, my, in the pews listening, and I thought to myself, at the feet of Jesus. Boy, that should be a song, or at least a poem. Well, I have one for you today. And what I like to call it is, at the feet of Jesus, Mary's song. I've met a man much more like God who set me on the way. His words of love and compassion 
brought me comfort every day. Though many followed daily with him, I don't believe they knew. His mission here was soon climaxing. Their time with him was few. So I'll cherish every moment, his words hid safely in my heart. I have to give my best to him. I have to do my part. With actions laced with love and care, my racing heart did beat. I knew the only place to be was seated at his feet. At the feet of Jesus, Savior, hear my prayer. Take my humble offering, polished with my hair. I know you have to leave me. I don't know what I'll do. I'll trust you'll love and keep me, my Savior, through and through. At the feet of Jesus, Savior, hear my prayer. Come take me home to heaven, where I can join you there. I know you have to leave me. I don't know what I'll do. I'll trust you'll love and keep me, my Savior, through and through. We all could take a lesson from the love that Mary showed Jesus. The choice seat to be seated at his feet. That's what we're supposed to do during Lent. Get ourselves closer to the Lord. You can't get closer than being at his feet. This week and for the remaining weeks leading up to the resurrection, I encourage you to read the, read the word. Read the word. Encourage others. Take a moment to love someone. Take a moment to say something nice. Take a moment to notice someone. There's so many opportunities we let pass by where we can make a difference in people's lives. I want to thank you for joining us today. And if this message uh, was good for you, share it. Make, you never know what friends you might have that might need an encouraging word. We want to thank you and bless you and have a great week. Amen.